Welcome to Up North Adventures. On this episode, I head to Northern Maine and Baxter State Park. This wilderness haven encompasses over 114,000 acres, including 47 mountain peaks, 50 lakes and ponds, and over 200 miles of hiking trails. My plan was to spend three days and two nights exploring and hiking to Maine's tallest point, the iconic Mount Katahdin. Welcome back to the channel. Kevin here. I am in Baxter State Park in the beautiful state of Maine and I'm hiking the Chimney Pond Trail to uh, the Chimney Pond Campground. I'm going to camp there overnight and hopefully get to the summit of uh, Katahdin, Baxter Peak. We'll see how it goes. Although Baxter is a state park, it is separate from the state park system. Named after Percival P. Baxter, Baxter made it his life obsession to create, protect, and provide to the people of Maine a wilderness haven in some of the most rugged terrain in the Northeast. Just coming up to the first viewpoint here of Katahdin. So I've been hiking for oh, about 45 minutes now. It's been a pretty steady uphill climb the whole way through all these boulders. You can see the view coming up here. Oh man, beautiful. Oh, look at this. Flat ground. Yeah, baby. The Chimney Pond Trail serves as the main trail to reach most of the other trails around the Great Basin. It follows an old logging era tote road west, ascending along Roaring Brook to Basin Ponds. The total elevation gain is a moderate 1,425 feet. All right, guys, here we are, home for tonight. Home for the next couple nights, actually. And you probably can't see, but there is a bit of a mountain view through the trail right there. Camera ain't picking it up. My chosen route to Baxter Peak would be the Saddle Trail. After I lightened my load some, I went down to Chimney Pond and filled up on water. I made sure I was well hydrated and filled both my Nalgene bottles. I figured about 64 ounces would be enough. The saddle trail follows a prominent slide on the west wall of the basin. The main slide came down in 1893. Historically, it is one of the oldest routes for the ascent of Katahdin. Taking a breather here. I'm on the saddle trail. Um, I originally planned to take the cathedral, but uh, the rest of my group couldn't make it. There was a group of four of us supposed to be going, but they couldn't make it. So, uh, from what I understand, it can get a little difficult on the cathedral going from one boulder to an X kind of need a little nudge in some spots so being that I'm flying solo I just figure I might as well take the saddle trail and I have to deal with that um, it's a little bit more miles but the ranger said it takes about the same amount of time just because of that um, more difficult uh, bouldering still climbing you can see the ranger station down there so it's kind of nice to see my progress as I go. I'll be climbing along the ridge here on the saddle trail. All on there to Baxter's Peak, which you can't see from here. And there's the knife's edge over there. But we'll get some better views up here. I made it up the saddle. I just got this rock field here to go before I get to Baxter Peak. 
So you can see the trail winding up right there. So still got a ways to go. All right, getting closer to Baxter Peak. Up that way. If I would have taken Cathedral Trail, I would have came out right here. Um, but I took the saddle so you can kind of see where that's winding through. And then right before that rock side there, it cuts down. But uh, yeah, pretty strenuous, man. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose a few toenails after this. It's rocks as far as you can see. Whew. And it looks like it might be easier because it's not as steep. But with these rocks shifting under your feet, it's kind of an ankle breaker. Yeah, I know where to come where for my next uh, landscaping project. <laughs> See that, guys? Just about to the peak. Katahdin is the northern terminus of the Appalachian Trail. As I neared Baxter Peak, I felt a great deal of accomplishment. I can only imagine how it must feel to all those Appalachian Trail through hikers. After backpacking for months covering 14 states, 2,190 miles, what a reward it must be. I found a nice place to rest up and have some lunch. The view of the knife edge was magnificent. The knife edge is the most spectacular feature of Katahdin. It is a glacially formed feature having no equal in the Appalachian Mountains. The route on the knife edge is very exposed. Within a few feet on either side of the trail is a sheer drop of 2,000 plus feet. Several people have died or have been seriously injured while attempting this trail in bad weather or high winds. I spent about 45 minutes on the summit and after a little rest and recovery, I was ready for the big descent back to camp. Easy part's done, now it's time to go back down. It ain't gonna be too easy in the joints, but man, I'm so glad I made this trip. So you can see Chimney Pond down there, that's where I came from. Kind of cool seeing it from this perspective. It's clouding up. And we're supposed to get some rain tonight, so we'll see. Just beautiful up here though. No wind. Amazing. Cathedral Trail goes down that way. Uh, if you do plan on hiking this trail, they uh, highly discourage you going down Cathedral. It's just way too dangerous. So something to keep in mind. So I'm about to descend on saddle trail. Not much room for air here. <sighs> Starting to flatten out a little bit now. If only had smell a vision. It smells so good right here with all these fir trees. Very festive smelling. So not much further till I'm to the ranger station and the campsite. So I'll check in, in a bit. Hey right, guys, made it back to the ranger station. Yeah. How oh, you like to live here, huh? It's gorgeous. So sign the book and set up camp. So just three people after me. Uh, started at 10. And it's 3.45 now. Done. Well, here's my setup for the night. I'm kind of relieved that I am able to hang my hammock because I thought I was going to have to lay on the ground and use it like a bivy. And I forgot my thermo rest, so I had to buy that big bulky friggin' foam pad there. So, what I did is I set trees on each side, just ran it right through this little gap right here. Yeah, worked out good. I think it's gonna be a nice light too. Chili mac and beef tonight. After a good hot meal, I did a little reading and then settled in for the night. 
During my stay at Chimney Pond, I made a fuzzy new friend who made frequent visits to my lean-to. It made sure I was up bright and early. Good morning. I'm just down here by the pond having my coffee and breakfast. Just can't get enough of this view. Beautiful morning. The storms uh, never did arrive last night. They're, they're late arriving because they're supposed to be here this afternoon. Uh, strong winds, heavy uh, hail. So I don't think I'll be doing much today. I feel good though. Um, I think that hike a few days ago, five days ago now, that Mount Chikura hike, kind of conditioned me for this one. So I don't feel too bad. But I've just been taking in this view this morning. Can't get enough of it. It'd be nice to see a moose though. The Chimney Pond Campground is by far the most spectacular campground in Baxter Park. Surrounded on three sides by a 2,000 foot wall of granite cliffs. The original cabin here was built in 1923. Today there is a day use shelter, a bunkhouse that sleeps 10, 9 lean twos, a yurt, as well as a few outhouses. So I'm just checking out the outlet to Chimney Pond now. It's just down this trail within the campground. can still see some snow left on the mountain right there. Let's zoom in. Where is it? It's hard to see on the camera, but it's right there. A couple patches of snow. <laughs> it's August. All right guys, getting a little hungry. I'm gonna come get my food off the bear line, cook up some lunch, I think. It's about one o'clock now. So I'm gonna cook up a little treat. This is another one of those oatmeals. S'mores cookie. So all I need to do is a, a self-heating thing. I don't need a cook set. You got your cookies here and then the heating element. So all I need to do is add three to four, three to five ounces of water. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. Open the heating element. It looks like just like one of those uh, hand warmers or something. So drop that in there. Drop the dessert in there. Just let it work its magic now. Yeah, I think the cookies are just about done. Let me give it a look. So what I'm going to do with that. I'm just going to pour the water into my heat stroganoff here. Might as well get dual purpose out of the boiling water, right? Seal that up, give it a few minutes. And dig into this cookie, this is going to be good. And I don't think I'm going to eat both of these, so I'll probably Run one over to the ranger, see if she wants it. Oh, that smells so good. A little crumbly though. Mm. But it's kind of nice that uh, you can use the water to boil up your meal. Save a little on fuel, but uh, yeah, they're pretty good, but just a little overpriced. All 
All right guys, heading back to camp. Just figured I'd go down there and get one last shot of the sun setting on the mountains there. That's going on about eight o'clock. Get up early, hit the trail, get some more footage of the uh, chimney pond trail on the way out. The rain never did come. I don't know, I think there's still a chance tonight, but we'll see. Either way, we'll get up early and head on out here. Good night. I woke up to a beautiful sunshine and a cool breeze. Perfect day for a hike. As I set out for the track back to Roaring Brook, I really took my time to enjoy all the sights and sounds of this beautiful trail. You angry, bro? What? Damn. All right, guys, I think I'm nearing Roaring Brook now. At least I hope so. <laughs> this uh, Chimney Pond Trail is no cakewalk. You think it's going to be gravy train all the way to Chimney Pond, and then the hard part is going up uh, Katahdin. Don't be fooled, man. This trail is no joke. It's a steady uphill all the way, lots of roots. I think between this and Katahdin uh, Saddle Trail, very strenuous. Saying that, I feel good though. I mean, I got to rest up yesterday, wrong camp, and my wife ain't gonna pick me up till noon, so I might just do, there's another uh, loop trail uh, leaving Roaring Brook here, Sandy Brook Trail, I think it is. So I got the time, I might as well do that. But. It's just been spectacular. Everything about this trail. Highly recommend it. Trail's in great shape. Well maintained, well blazed. All right guys, well I made it to Rowing Brook Campground. So that's gonna do it. I'm gonna do a little bit of the uh, Sandy Brook, but I won't get any footage of that. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the trip. I know I did. I signed the logbook and enjoyed one last stop before leaving the park. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching Up North Adventures.